was being... He's just kind of under the threat because he's afraid, but... Oh, he doesn't have spit and there it is! The first blood! Like, I, I think this Timber in this kind of game, though, is just liable to go off and pretty much 1v5 in terms of damage. Oh, they get the dust on the 343. They will be able to hit the stun on him. Looks like this should be MVP Phoenix's first kill. should be successful with it, too. Yeah, they hit the stun. DJ slows him down long enough. Essentially everything, and you kind of accept that you might lose a hero. Forev is gonna barely get out of that smoke clown ahead of the purge. So now with the TP in from Fevy, looks like they could actually get a kill. Yeah, they're just gonna combo down DJ quite easily. Mushi gonna have to run through the tower, but it's 343 who's gonna be caught out by QO. 343 banking on some luck, but probably make a move by. I, okay, so 10 minutes, 45 seconds. You go place two wards right here with the Ricky. Uh, and you just rotate down and try to kill. MP in some serious trouble. He's got a doppelganger, but with uh, damage, oh, okay, mid there. one. There's, Wait, there's what? no trees oh, no, anywhere, they got and they got juked out. Oh no, they might still be able to catch up to MP though. They've got the smoke cloud, no doppelganger left, and with the pure Syria, damage. Mm -hmm. Or even behind the tower, get aggressive. Right. Would have liked to see the life stealer down here. Yeah, there it is. But instead, they're gonna bring the timber saw. And they've got MP. Silenced mm -hmm. up. They're even gonna, they're gonna spot him here. DJ, the smoke cloud does go down, buying him a little bit more time. The sprint is actually on cooldown here. The tranquil boots does skill, still give him a lot of movement speed, and with QO cutting across, they should be able to kill TJ. They're gonna have to stomp as well, but ooh, maybe there's gonna be a turnaround here. Mid one comes in, gets a lot of damage on the Slardar, still not enough. QO has his Omni Slash ready to go. Doesn't really want to use it on mid one, but he's gonna be stuck in a nasty position. Finally using it in order to get away from the Bat Rider, and they actually kill him with the amp damage. They turn around, gonna go on to Ohio. They have the stones necessary to beat him to death too. The next right. two minutes would be good enough. Oh, Pretty nice good. play there. Purging off the dust and they're pretty overextended. Yeah, there's going to be Ohio. Managed to get the pullback lasso onto QO. The swap goes down. It looks like Dubu's going to have to sack his life, but he's all three for three for it. Worth, he saves his core, gets a kill in exchange for his own death. That is very good. DJ. He's going to have to play a great reactive game here once again. Will be able to get off the ultimate onto mid one, buying him some time. They swap him out, but the timber chain still goes through. Looks like he's going to take his fair share of damage. Will actually heal up a little bit. QO. Oh, the Ventral Spirit, the first to go down. Looks like QO is also doomed to fall here. Doesn't have any way of escape. Looks to juke it out, get away from Ohio, bottle up. But that's just, oh my god, spinning. Wand. He's going to go for the TP out. He's actually away, but the flame break is just in here forever. One of those two was going to get picked off. It looked like Ohio wanted to go for Ferev, but they will try and grab Debbie now. And if you get the lasso, there's the sun in response. But Ferev, he just put himself in the firehouse yeah. there unnecessarily. Looked up. Mid one, he's going to need to make the initiation. The Black Dragon's already down. They see how low Roshan is. They're going to pop out, try and get their stun. No, it's not enough. QO managed to pick up the Aegis. And MVP Phoenix still pretty well spread for this fight. QO inside of the Chakram, trying to finish off 3 4 3. Can't actually get him. The swap over. QO dies on top of the cliff. And they're actually going to leave him there. He doesn't really have a way out. Meanwhile, Febby does manage to hit the stun there. QO bounces down thanks to the Omni Slash, but out of the fire into the pit. Oh no, they've actually managed to pick up the kill onto the Oracle. QO, he's the almost the last one alive here for MVP Phoenix, and he's just going to get dumped on here in the side shop. No way out for him. Right, so they're going to invade. MVP have to get out. There's no way they should take this fight. Just ditch Dubu. Dubu's dead. Dubu is very dead. Dubu lived a strong life. MP, he may be dead as well. He's actually slowed up and bounced back into the smoke screen by the flame break of Ohio. The right hand side, though, they're going to try, try and catch DJ as well as Midwan. Midwan is going to take a serious amount of healing. Looks like he should be okay. While MVP Phoenix, they're going to be run down here. The Chakram onto Ferev. That's going to be a third Showing kill. Up. Yeah, they, they actually got the correct scan. And Roshan has showed up to the party, but Fnatic. They're already here in force to protect and keep that Aegis in their hands. Yeah. I think Fnatic just walk into the Roche pit, take Aegis. They can even fight him. He's done in Ohio. They're going things off, but oh, they actually get the first half to the side. Forever will live through all that. Meanwhile, the old comes in from the Elder Titan, taking out a lot of damage. Ohio may actually end up going down eventually. 3 4 3, bouncing over to Forever. The stun goes down first. Meanwhile, Amplify damage on Amushi. They will get him. They take him down, and MP still running forward. He's looking for the kill on Ohio, but has to stay one step ahead of mid one, which he will for now. Three down on the side of Fnatic. They that, but Fnatic, they're going to set up the top. They're going to make the move on MP. Ooh. Doppelganger away. Will be able to run him down. Mid one. Should be able to collect yet another bounty here.
21 Bloodstone shows up. Rages. Takes the tier 3. Now the jump in from mid one sees an opportunity. BKB is popped by Brev. Now they do manage to hit this off on three different heroes. And they follow this one up. It's two man crush. Out from Brev. Will jump himself away. Riki not quite eliminated. And now the Omni Slash ineffective as they hit those high armor heroes. Looks like mid one not going to be able to make the escape. The stunts hits him. And actually the Life Stealer does indeed fall past the Oracle Falls Promise. Ohio almost getting caught in. Yep, they just took themselves uh, a tier two. We're rapidly getting to the point where that Phantom Lancer. Oh boy, they're actually going to force this fight now. They managed to get the swap. They still do not have one of their heroes, but it looks like they may still be able to win the fight. Ohio dropping lower and lower. False Promise goes out. Febby being chased away by two different heroes there of Fnatic. So it's going to be one for one trade off so far as the Batrider actually doesn't drop to the False Promise. Finally, MP is back in play. MVP Phoenix. It wasn't a terrible fight as long as they don't lose anybody else to Boo. <laughs> Hiding in the trees with no TP whatsoever. He's got a smoke and he might sneak his way out now. Yeah. He would get spotted by the courier otherwise. He's getting pinged out. Oh. Run, Dubu, run. Poor Dubu. Throw the spite stun. Can't even Close get it off. Mushi with an invis will run straight into Febby. Poor Febster. Oh, he does get out. Pushes himself over the cliff. Is this really where you want to be, Mushi? Mushi's gonna be hit by the ultimate here for the Elder Titan, snaps him back, brings the blow, there's the old Oracle save, but for Ev, he's still gonna try for this one, they managed to get the impact, he pops back out for the extra HP, will it be enough? No it's not, he pops anyway, MP goes for DJ in the back line, Ohio just TP'd in, and he starts running himself away, realizing this is not a good fight whatsoever, MVP Phoenix, they don't want mid one, they want Ohio instead, that's why for Ev's sprinting forward, hoping to be able to get in range with the blink, he had a second there, but doesn't want to jump ahead too far ahead. Obviously, the Pat Rider really good around the road. Oh, oh my god, it just died so quickly. They've already got the ages before the initiation happens. Now, Dubu put on the cliff. He is going to be stuck there, probably dead for sure. Yeah, first damage comes through, but it doesn't really matter too much. It was just some support. That's all the initiation. And now, MVP Phoenix can run down whatever heroes they want to. The Omni Slash goes out. Will be able to take out the Riki. And Wushi is going to run out of his Rage Timer too with the Amplified Damage. He falls rather quickly as well. DJ cleans up. All that's left is mid one, but he just cannot output enough damage. Surrounded by three, no jump forward. They actually try to get Ohio. Oh no, the illusions keep going. Ohio, they had the vision on him, but MP redirects his illusions onto mid one instead. Misses out on that extra kill, but still. This Phantom Monster has been a terror in these team fights. As Kill just going to blink up now. They the are going to be able to get two different engagements. Mid one is going to be the first mid. Meanwhile, we have the Omni Slash onto Mushi. Our Juggernaut is left to roll while the rest of the team is focusing on mid one. It looks like Fnatic want to try and rescue mid one, but she's not going to be fast enough. The Yule Scepter goes down, stopping the Timber Chain. They off the stomp as well. Finally, they take him down. The big man, mid one, ends up falling. The Timber Saw is gone. And now it's all in exchange for Dubu's Vengeful Spirit. And perhaps so many heroes of Fnatic are going to fall. They managed to corral one of the heroes into the trees. And and DJ will get out. The life stealer gets away with back. the little... And in one second, Timber Solder respawns. He's going to come in, try to push out the waves as hard as he possibly can. And it's probably going to be pretty successful here. That was super close. QO. He almost loses that Aegis. That would have been a great start for Fnatic. They would have given them hope for taking this, but now they're going to have to deal with uh, full HP. Juggernaut is the healing one going to town. Mushi in some serious trouble. He has the false promise saving him, but I don't think he's going to make it out of here. That's way too much damage, especially with the amp damage going down. Actually, he managed to dodge a little bit. He's still alive, infested up inside of mid one. So mid one being the tank here is going to try and jump on MP. So looking down with the sheep's a little bit more. 343 being gone on by QO, turns the attention to Ohio instead, while Febby goes down the left-hand side. Finally, Mushi pops out. This time, Mushi will go down. Mid one, slow down, swap actually goes down. All right, with the Lotus Orb, no displacement there. Fnatic have lost their uh, their Mushi life stealer for good, though, and becomes less and less. The decision to go with the heart in conjunction with the Healing Ward makes MVP's uh, straight-up push just so dangerous. And now Brev's going to make the jump. Manages to jump forward into the smoke screen though, so won't be able to get out much damage. Fred just stands inside of it with his BKB, has to force Del himself out. Mushi will heal up the full, starts going to Febby. Shot goes down, not going to be fast enough though to be able to save his own life. MP right in the middle of all this is taking up so much damage, he actually dies and he's down for 90 sec seconds without a buyback. MVP Phoenix may lose the more. The one thing that MVP might do better than any other team in the world is to Oh, Febby. 
Tries to jump inside the Roshan pit, actually gets lassoed almost immediately. Now 343 instantly bashed, but there's the Oracle save. That fall falls promise being used though on a support may come back to bite them as MP comes in from the right hand side. Brev is being chased down by Ohio as well as Midwan. Looks like the rest of Fnatic will turn their attention towards this large. He does grab the Chiefs. Alright, smoke up. Forever with the Aegis, they're gonna jump on Ohio. He's actually invested inside, but this is not a good place for the Light Dealer to be able to pop out. He immediately goes for Dubu, but the Force Staff over the cliff saves him. Mid one will hunt down Dubu instead, but again, it's just a support. They actually swap over. Dubu will keep himself alive, and QO jumps over now to join MP and killing Mushi. Mid one against the world once again, as he's gonna lose ally after ally. 343 three, with a blink strike will be able to get himself some space, but inevitably he'll be run down, it seems like. Well, the amplified damage makes it a lot easier for Kiwo to cut through him with the Omni Slash. 343 is somehow still alive, but so fast. At this point, they will have realized that the Life Slayer doesn't have buyback. Surely, and Midwan caught outside of the fountain. I mean, DJ's not even. Oh, pullback there. Brev will lose his life, but Kiwo. He knows what's up. All of his allies could be. Kiwo will take the objective. He will end this game number one against Fnatic. His allies can do whatever the hell they want. He will make sure the game is secured. So mid one, predictions correct across the board, and yet ultimately cannot win the game. MVP Phoenix hold on with their Phantom Lancer and Juggernaut, survive through the rocky period of time where Fnatic were supposed to be their strongest, and win in the late game. QL running straight into the four man of Fnatic here, but not going to be punished, it seems like. He should have spin up, so. He'll level it if needed, okay, or doesn't. What, QO? Oh no, he's hit by the arrow, he's comboed down. That's easily gonna be first blood as they right click him away. The three man stomp goes up and maybe they can get some return fire here. Three, four, three, gonna try and juke his way through the trees. Oh, this is Not so smart. Though. He's getting away from the rest of his team so that they can't continue the push. Yeah, and they, so they, which means. Yeah, and meanwhile, I mean, MVP still having an okay time of it, but they're gonna lose Frev here. Although mid one is taking so much damage. As the stomp, they managed to get the lasso on a 3-4-3. They are going to be able to survive with Brev, it looks like. He will get the burn damage on one, and mid one goes down as well. The dude not quite there, there. And there it is. DJ did go for the wraparound and ended up finding a courier in the process. Now goes a run into Brev, hits the impale, which leads into now the arrow, almost popping Brev. MVP Phoenix are going to group up. They're probably looking towards Roshan right now with two heroes of Fnatic pushing out the top lane. He'll trade that tier one any time, but QO, he may have just gotten picked off the Star Storm once again. Finishing off yet another hero, Mushi. Didn't have that great of a game. be huge for them. So they kind of grouped up for nothing, right? Like, because that pick off on QO, they're going to lose that tier one tower on top for free. Now they're going to lose Dubu and MVP Phoenix. There's just so no huge. Man. MP's getting already a little bit too low. Good Chronosphere could mean everything. They do have the healing ward up on the side. Ooh, MP actually back that damage onto himself, dropping lower and lower. Ohio faking it out. Chronosphere now going down, only catching Febby. Not great. Meanwhile, Mushi stuck inside the pit. is going to be caught. Oh, he goes down before the TP could complete. Dubu will end up dying. Looks like he managed to get off the false promise. He might be able to heal himself back up, actually. The stop lands on mid one inside of his own. Now he's going to be snapped back by the Elder Titan ultimate. Oh, no. Fnatic, we were setting this all up for the... Oh, DJ's oh, going to go for Jetta. He didn't get it in time, and 343 was kind of hanging around, waiting in the wings as well. But MVP Phoenix, quick to snatch onto him, will be able to make this a third kill before returning back to the Roshan. Lasso from Batrider to secure it. Other than that, he can't really be stopped. So he can kind of push in a side lane as well constantly. Yeah, we talked about how MVP just won a five man down. But look what's happening right now is mid one. Mid one actually gets spotted by Perez try and run him down with the Firefly over the top, but the Pounce does get some distance. Looks like QO somehow gets snatched up by Marana at the top lane. Mid one will escape as well. Bad turns to right away. They all die. As you say that, <laughs> they're only going to run into one, though. DJ, that's a one-off. DJ nothing. is so farmed, though, that he almost counts for five heroes. <laughs> Ooh, almost catching him. Flame break pushes him over the cliff and does manage to get the pounce away. Now pops the ultimate in order to get rid of that Omni Slash. And Ohio jumps in. Threatening that Cardinal Sphere does catch two. MP, not the one inside of it though, is going to be able to get some damage out. But a nice stun out from DJ in the back line. Will control up some of these heroes. They jump forward and will be managed to finish up the Faceless Void finally. Off laner for an off laner. 
And it begins. Now the stun on the Dubu. Another one for Fnatic, but MVP Phoenix, they're not going to give up their support so lightly. But again, DJ comes in for the side in the back lines, hits the two man impale, and MVP Phoenix don't get the opportunity to respond and retaliate for their Oracle being picked off. Yeah, DJ just kind of walking through the lines. Nobody can do anything about it. Blinks forward, misses this in here with this wraparound. Should be a free kill here. Let's see how. Oh! Blink away just in time by Perev. Dodges the Chronosphere, and MVP Phoenix will try and oh, escape, but Perev is not going to be able to get away. This is the power of the Nixon. Collapse on that, considering that MVP had already used. Uh, They've got the Chronosphere. They're going to get the back line. They're going to make sure there's no false promise for MPs. They make short work of him. Now turn their attention to Fed. Mid one. Gets perched up a little bit, the stomp goes down, and pops the BKB, but he's going to be lasted up. Fortunately, he hit the pounce on Perez, who's not drunk anywhere. QO tries to create the space for Perez, but it's just not possible. Not with that sneaky Nyx. Oh, QO gets nailed. QO, that's hit by enough. Big stomp goes down. Moshi jumps forward with the Star Storm. They've got him. Bebby up next, all the way underneath Tier 4 Towers. Forget about it, Dubu. You're not making an escape here. 15 to 8. They can maybe find Perez here. They don't have... Immediately, he fireflies, sees mid one, tries to bounce back for the lasso, but realizes the dark pack would cause some issues, so MP's gonna be the one to jump forward. But BKB activated, and MP being hit a lot. Lot of stats gonna be taken away, while the Chronosphere in the background is gonna be able to control all the support, meaning MP once again will not get the save from Paul Thomas. Only Arma Toggling will be able to keep him alive, and he can't do that forever. MP dramatic, but they're not even gonna wait it out as MVP. They tap out as series goes 1-1. Well, we were right. MVP Phoenix did play some of the ever awards. We won the coin toss. In some ways, Cap, I feel like this was the most difficult category to guess. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Sure. 30 minute game. Fnatic strike back pretty hard in game number two, drawing this series to a 1 1.